And welcome back to Houston Newsmakers, where I'm joined by MJ Hager, Democrat, running for U.S. Senate right now in the runoff against State Senator Royce West. Good morning, Ms. Hager. How are you feeling uh, about your campaign now in this second week of early voting? And in, in addition to that, why are you why are you doing this? That's a good question. Um, I'm feeling great. I, I, we were obviously concerned when we had to transition to a virtual campaign because we were driving tens of thousands of miles across the state, meeting Texans from El Paso to the Rio Grande Valley, up to Texarkana, over to Abilene. Um, and that's so important to do. So it was, it was um, really uh, breaking our hearts when we had to go to a virtual campaign. But frankly, Texas is such a huge state. We are now enabling uh, you know thousands of people to come and, and hear what I have to say and ask me questions and hear what my vision is for the state mm -hmm. who maybe wouldn't have come to an in-person event and we have increased our momentum exponentially so it's been great why am i doing this you know you know that i put on the uniform and served our country uh, i did three tours in afghanistan and i took an oath to support and defend the constitution against all enemies foreign and domestic and i believe we're under a domestic threat to our constitution now but i also have a three and a five-year-old um, and so i'm trying to protect the world that they're growing up into and, and the country that they're inheriting and and all of our kids frankly you 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 came uh, close in your run for congress and you gained a lot of national attention for the video you did of knocking on doors both literally and figuratively on behalf of equality in the military nowadays where we are really focusing on a lot in this country and the world about equality how do you think that your efforts in that regard compare to those of Senator Cornyn and with the, your running the, your opponent in the primary of uh, Senator West? Yeah, you know, I when I went to D.C. to try to open hundreds of thousands of jobs for women in the military, I was successful. And I was successful in building a broad bipartisan coalition of Republicans and Democrats. And I was told when I got there, by the way, I was just taking time off work. I wasn't there as part of a job. I just was a private citizen. I was told I would not be able to do that because I wasn't a powerful donor. I wasn't I didn't have any political capital, which I learned quickly what that was. Um, I didn't have access to those cigar smoke filled rooms. Um, and that disgusted me as someone who has bled on foreign soil for our constitution. That's not how our government is supposed to work. Um, so I brought transparency and accountability with me. I wasn't afraid to bring to people's attention when I was getting de denied meetings for not being a donor. Um, and I was able to build that broad bipartisan coalition and didn't do it by myself. I recruited 25 or so um, really pissed off female combat vets. We called ourselves <laughs> the Combat Integration Initiative, but that was just fancy talk for pissed off female combat vets that wanted the, the, the acknowledgement that women were in combat um, and to open 238,000 jobs up for competition. But right. while I was there, I looked around and wondered why more people couldn't do this, couldn't bring people together. Um, and I realized that largely it's because the people who are in a position to make these decisions um, are career politicians who yeah. are disconnected from the actual real world challenges of, of real everyday people like us. Um, and so I used my uh, experience and training in change management and was able to, to bring people together. And I'm looking forward to doing that in, in climate change, immigration reform, in recovering our economy and, and uh, reforming our healthcare system. So I know you want to um, go against John Cornyn for this, but you got to get past Senator West first. What is it about about you that makes you a better candidate in the general of, instead of uh, corner? What makes you better than Royce West? You know, um, as you know from probably watching other interviews, I, I, I'm not interested in, in throwing punches frankly. Um, so I am laser focused on John Cornyn and I'm laser focused on taking on a system that is not working for for regular everyday Texans. And I'm I'm critical of career politicians if they don't um, force themselves outside of the political echo chamber. And, and you know, you can be a servant leader and a career politician, but I, I, I see it very rarely. And, and I want to see more people <clears throat> invite, you know, uh, border community leaders to the table when they're talking about immigration reform. I want to see more people talking to teachers about education, talking to nurses about health care. That's my leadership style. I'm not seeing a lot of that mm -hmm. from John Cornyn. So you're getting onto an elevator. Uh, one other person gets on. They haven't voted yet. And you got 30 seconds to go ahead and make the sale. What do you tell them on that elevator ride up to whatever floor you're going to? I say this is a moment right now in our country and in our state to send a global message that we are still the leaders of the free world, that we can take on the tough problems like systemic racism, not enough people with access to health care, a broken immigration system, a gun violence epidemic, a climate crisis. We can take those things on if we come together and there's nothing that we can't solve. And before that dings and they 
they get off the elevator. I'm gonna grab them by the arm and say, please stay safe, follow the CDC guidelines, but make sure that you and your friends and your family vote on or before July 14th and again in November and that you vote like your kid's future depends on it. You know, uh, I don't know, that might do it. I think that might do it. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. You know what? Uh, assuming if you get past this, and I know you're positive thinking about that, you got to come back and let's do a whole show. What do you say? Absolutely. Looking okay. forward to it. Good deal. Thank you. Thank you. It's a bet. MJ Hager, thank you this morning. Good luck in your run, and thank you again for your service to this country. We admire you for that. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate thank you, sir. you.